Hi. One of the other major things that comes with doing Qigong exercises is this, this feeling or this ability to access something bigger than ourselves, something outside of ourselves, and being part of that. And it gives you the spaciousness around that. And some people call it the field or the gap. I usually call it the oneness. Um, and I quite like that terminology. And you also be aware that there's something outside that we're actually connected to ourselves, and especially when you're doing Qigong exercises, brings that really apparent to yourself when you're doing that. There's, there's some, in, inside that space, there's, there's a place where you don't have to be anybody, you don't have to do anything, it's already done. It's a place of, of like, just, it's a place where you can rest where there's nothing to do, because it's, it's already been done for you, and it's a really lovely space. Inside that, of course, is, is a part of that, is the presence or that, or being presence, or the being in the present moment of that, as I said in the other video, it's about amplifying the present moment. It's about creating that present moment in that space inside that place that's bigger than you and make it bigger and bigger and feel yourself big. I was speaking to a person today and I said it's, it's, it's one thing when, when I'm on my motorcycle, driving my motorcycle, my space can only be so big, I can only amplify it so much because I have to stay focused because if I go too far out then I'm not really focusing what's going on in front of me. But if I'm sitting meditating or I'm sitting at the beach, I can expand it right out. When I'm practicing Qigong in the morning, I can express it right out the outside and feel that spaciousness that comes with that. I want to do an exercise that's about this connection between heaven and earth. It's an it's a energetic principle of yin-yang to understand how we can connect with the earth that we stand on and the heaven, which is the energy around it. And they're two polar opposites. It's like the, the positive and negative of a battery. It's energy. We have to be earth. To give power, we need earth. And so because we're an energetic being, it's about connection with the ground and the connection with this heaven, or the understanding of this young energy above us. And so this, this exercise is called Golden Cox. And so I'm only going to do a modific modification of that because sometimes you do with it with a leg up, but we're, not going, we're just going to do the hands for this. And it also has lots of different applications, but I just want to use one of the applications for it, for this exercise. So you start with both palms facing towards the ground. And we're going to use the right hand first. The right hand's going to come up, the palm comes up, then turns around, and then pushes towards the sky, and the other palm's facing towards the ground. Yeah? So we have this idea connecting our palm to the, to the heaven, and the other palm to the earth. So we have this yin-yang connection with our battery. Then we're going to breathe in, the other hand's going to come up, and it comes up close to our heart, and the other one comes down the bottom, comes up, and then it turns around, and it pushes back up to the sky, and the other one goes down towards the ground. Yeah. So now we have the opposite going. Breathing in again. Inside, the other one goes inside, and the other one goes outside. Turning around, pushing up, breathing in, breathing out. Connection between heaven and earth. And we're connecting our, our Ren and our Do channel together as well. We're breathing in, which are two channels, major channels in our body, that connect to the heaven and earth. And breathe out. So when you're doing this, you can feel the energy from the palm of your hand towards the ground, and you can feel the energy from there. You can actually feel it coming into your palms of your hands. So when you do this exercise, you'll be able to feel it. Breathing in, and breathing out. Breathing in. This is a good exercise to do if you're a bit low in energy and a bit tired. This exercise will build energy inside your body. Breathing in. There's a form of this done in the Shuba Shira as well. It's done slightly different. They're all a manifestation of the same sort of energetic exercise. They're just done, done slightly different. Breathing in and breathing out. Long, slow, quiet breaths. Now you can do this as long as you like. I'm just going to finish there and bring the hand down. And I will do this for five minutes. Sit there quietly. Breathe long, slow breaths in, long, slow breaths out. And just enjoy the quiet and the spaciousness of this exercise and feel the presence grow, grow the presence around you and feel that you're part of something bigger than yourself and it'll make you, it changes you, the way you see life and definitely changes your day. So enjoy that exercise and we'll talk soon, eh? Bye bye.